Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I checked in. Today is August 28th, it's a Friday. A lot has happened in like the last, so well since the last time I checked in, I don't really know how long it's been. Uh, but today, oh I got my gauges, that's a positive thing. They're started, starting to look good, happy about that. Uh, I'm no longer in Chico, that was something that was a little hard for me to kind of move home for a little bit. Um, but thankfully I'm in the guest house, which makes a world of difference. So that helps a little bit. I've had a decent amount of anxiety, but luckily things are kind of like slowing down for me. So it's not as much mental now. It's able to, I'm able to slow down. Um, I stopped by Molly's today and now I'm currently after work and now I'm currently headed to um, Esmeralda's. I've been helping my dad with the rentals at my grandma's in Tuolumne. I ran into Lauren today. I was really surprised to see him, but extremely happy to. Um, I don't think I've seen him in like two years. He's um, he's getting tall. He's like really tall. He's a good kid though. Fingers crossed he just continues to slide through. Um, I'm going to take him to lunch next week. Things have just been strange. I'm not sure where things with Esmeralda and I are going. I've applied for jobs in San Jose, but then again, I'm not really sure where I want to be. I know I don't want to be in, in Tuolumne or in Calaveras County. Um, I'd like to be in a place that's a little bit more liberal and a little bit more open, but seeing where it goes and thankful for the opportunities that present themselves. Um, yeah, just trying to get by, I guess, seeing where things go one step at a time and happy to just try to slow down a little bit and smile. Uh, I did need to get out of the mountains. My mom is a little bit much for me to handle. She's back to drinking. I feel like most of the time she means well, but there's a lot that she needs to work on as an individual. And there's a lot of things that I need to work on as an individual. Uh, and we can't be in the same space trying to do that because we both will butt heads pretty hard. But here is to seeing where the rest of this year goes. I'm excited to get Molly moved into Tuolumne. She's really, really nervous about it, but I do know that things will work out. Um, hold up, we'll just wait and see. Sorry, I just got cut off. Um, people that don't use their blinkers until like the very last minute. Uh, it's an interesting process. <laughs> But that's what you get driving Modesto. Everybody's in a rush to get somewhere. And it's just kind of like trying to take it one step at a time and love myself in the process. Um, I don't know, just trying to find some love and see where things go. I mean, it is a crazy, crazy thing that's happening. The world's kind of in a weird place. There's a lot of change and I'm trying to learn with that change and become the best person that I can. I know it's not always gonna be easy, but things are, are working out. So I'm proud of myself for trying. Um, I did notice that when I was around my mom for too long that I was falling back into bad behaviors or not, not necessarily bad, but old behaviors that no longer serve me. And I'd really like to move away from that. So um, we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. I kind of feel unsure about things today, but tomorrow could be totally different. Um, it's still smoky as hell down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really smoky. Um, I keep doing um, 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 because I'm trying to think about all the things that happen. Oh, I did have a really, really rough moment with the RCD board at the last board meeting that I attended. It was actually my last day of work. It was August 20th, 2020. Um, it was rough because they were talking about replacing me and that they had hours and work for somebody who was willing to work, but I was willing to work and they couldn't provide the hours for me. So I don't know how that, I don't know how, I don't know where they were getting the hours to justify. So for me to be able to like stand up for that was, I'm glad I was able to, but I don't think that I was actually hurt because they're going to continue to try to find somebody to replace the position that I was in. Um, but they weren't transparent from the beginning and it was an opportunity to learn how to talk better with others. Um, I'm just hoping to work through my shit and become a better person than I was yesterday and kind of see, just take it 
taking it one day at a time. Um, I do feel like I've gained a little bit of weight, but I really haven't. I fluctuate between 175, I mean, sorry, uh, 160, uh, 159, I can't even speak today. It's just gonna be bad, sorry. I've been fluctuating between uh, 157.5, is where the 75 came from, so uh, 157.5 to 162. Um, and I feel like when I look in the mirror, I feel like I, I'm a little thicker, but I'm really not. I'm just, my body's like filling out like my face like it was prior to. I'm not as skinny, but I still do have my lines and I still look sharp. Um, it's finding those little moments to compliment myself and love myself, to remind myself that I am beautiful and that I do care about my body. I do want to be healthy. I don't want to be anorexic. I don't want to look sickly. Um, I want to be happy. I was really thrilled to see Lauren for a couple minutes today. Um, he was so excited to see me, and I think it's, I, like, genuinely, he was happy to see me. And it's been a really long time since somebody has lit up like that when they saw me. So, that means that I have been a really good influence in his life, and that he likes me around. Fingers crossed it continues to stay that way, because he is so cute. He is turning into such a nice young boy. He did break his hand doing something dumb, but he is a 16 year old, so we will just have to wait and see where all of it goes. Um, I think that's about it. I like to leave off on a positive note, and here's to seeing what new adventures come. All right, happy Friday.